Zach, of course, everybody knows Zach, uh, doing another Whiskey Thursday. We're waiting on Shane. He's a little behind. He's uh, picking up some alcohol. He's only got to catch up. So he had to pick up a lot. And uh, in the meantime, welcome, Zach, to another episode of Whiskey Thursday, uh, where last time, I think when you were on, we were talking about sales and closing. Is that right? Q&A's. Q and A's. <laughs> well, last time, yeah, it did turn into kind of a Q and A. You enjoying your meal there? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Just completely unorthodox, which is exactly how your sales calls were. I mean, bourbon and Benedictine and uh, euros. In euros? Euros. Okay, gotcha. Oh my god, you don't know what you don't know. What, you poor soul. You don't know what fucking. You don't know what euros <laughs> are, and you don't know what Benedictine are. It's there you go. You know what Benedictine is, Matt? I don't. Get yourself some Benedictine. It'll replace your Mountain Dew and you'll be really happy about yourself. Is that right? Yeah. I might have to do that. Um, I think we're live. I'm not 100% sure because Facebook's like live streaming piece just completely vanished on me. So uh, That's let's good. take a look and see if we are actually live. Give me one second here. <laughs> if, you, if we're live... Hashtag live in the comments below if you're watching live. Hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. Uh, let us know. How are they watching the replay if it's right now? Well, if they're watching later, it's now to them <laughs> and they're watching the replay. <laughs> All right, give me one second. You it guys are in for a real special edition because I've been drinking for the last five hours. <laughs> for the last, okay, so not for very long at all. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So what are we talking about tonight? We're kind of doing uh, an open Q and A. We're gonna see, you know, when people get on here, what do you guys want to hear about? What do you want to talk about? Um, Chips here, Christians here, Roberts here, James is here. What's going on, everybody? Um, also, let us know where you're watching from. Always fun to see where people are are tuning in from. We get a lot of people in the U.S., Canada. Uh, we have a couple of people staying up real late on the other side of the planet. I don't remember where they were, but I remember last time it was like two in the morning. It's kind of cool. Um, where are you tuning in from, Matt? I'm in the Detroit metro area. That's so not just, true. <laughs> I'm just outside Detroit. And uh, oh, Shane just logged on to watch. So we're waiting for Shane to get here, but he's he's here watching, hashtagging live. So that's cool. Uh, Chips in Toronto. Shane is also in the uh, greater Toronto area. This is here. Uh, Luke Shankula is here. Luke was our guest last week. That was fun. So, Luke, I also, I haven't forgot about you. I still owe you a link. I'll get that to you. <laughs> Shane to says what? he's watching from Toronto. A link to what? Uh, I owe him a link uh, for some stuff that he wanted to, to learn more about. Uh, Olivia just got here. What's going on, Olivia? Uh, Love Olivia. Olivia is a cool. boss, man. Yeah. She's a boss. She's in our, our student group. It's always fun to see what she's got going on there. Uh, speaking of a fun post, did you see did you see that post I put out earlier with all the different ways you could uh, generate new clients with $2,000? <laughs> I started going, I was like, A, you could do this. B, you could do this. C, you could do this. And then something in me just went, go to Z. <laughs> so we put 26 different options and some of them we were truly, truly reaching. Uh, but I think it was fun. Was Z, um, did, was Z for Zach? No, it wasn't Zach. Uh, we did talk about some of your methods in there. I think I also talked about like pay me $2,000 and I'll tell you, or I'll send you the same list in a PDF format. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, <laughs> Shane says he's boosting the engagement. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, speaking of boosting the engagement, let's send this out to the chat bot real quick. So if you're, if you're watching live and get the chat bot message, make sure you click watch now. Otherwise you're going to get another message. Let's see. Wasn't, wasn't Al supposed to be on this or no? He was supposed to, man. He was just like, did you, think, uh, did you think I was going to bail? No, no, I didn't think you were going to bail. Really? I ran. Did you you were going to bail? Yeah, I ran <laughs> home from the bar. <laughs> I'm not shocked about that. I'm definitely not shocked about that. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to pull this up on my main screen so I can watch live and see the comments. Because like I said, it is not working on the main thing there. Boom, there we go. Okay, cool. Now I can see the comments on the main screen. Anyways, so let's see. What do you guys want to talk about? What do you have questions about? If you're watching live, hashtag live, Shane says. Awesome, awesome. Um, otherwise, we're just going to talk. <laughs> otherwise, we will. And talk I've got about. a lot to fucking say. Yeah, you, I'm not shocked. Matt warned me to not say what I have to say, so. <laughs> I'm always... Say, don't say what's on your mind. Just say uh, what we're talking about. Uh, and you change your name. 
<laughs> I just caught that. <laughs> not gonna not gonna repeat it, but anyways. Um Shane says he's pretty much the only one commenting. No, Olivia's commenting, Luke's commenting, Scott, Trip. Um, everybody's commenting. They're excited to be here, I think, right? Everybody excited so to be here. Just sign off if Shane's the only one commenting, because like we can talk to Shane anytime. Uh, Pat says he's live. He's just supporting the engagement boosting. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, yes. What's that? Al or Pat? Pat. Oh, sure. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shane says, oh boy, Zach. And then he laughed. Uh, Olivia says, I'm here. Torrance says, what do you guys think about guaranteeing a number of appointments with chatbots? Um, Alan wants to talk about where's Shane? It's a great question, Alan. I think we'll get there for sure. Hopefully Shane will be joining us shortly. Shane, if you're watching, which I know you are, uh, why don't you give us an ETA, bro? <laughs> yeah, when Shane gets on, I'm signing off. <laughs> you're signing off when Shane gets on. It's all right. I, I love that you're just totally enjoying your food while we're here. It's great. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> you're just is that, like that weird? I don't know. I don't know. It is totally like on. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that is that weird or is that pretty normal for Zach? Um, I mean, after your sales call talk last week, I would say it's really not weird because that was quite an interesting method. The way that you, you jump in, you drop the F bomb, you say, oops, I dropped the F bomb. If that's going to offend you, maybe we shouldn't work together. And that's kind of your opening line. Shane and I were on a sales call where I think Shane probably had a minor heart attack the other day. And I was just like, it was actually our second call with this guy. Mm -hmm. and I was like, well, this wasn't really the direction I was thinking this call was going to go and I don't really know what to say to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're very honest on your sales calls. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> um, Sebastian says, Matt looks really nervous about what Zach really has to say. <laughs> I'm always nervous about what Zach has to say. We don't know where it's going to go. We already read his name there. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a, a, I don't know, a wild game. We don't know what's going to happen. He's a wild card. But anyways, I was gonna say, it's not a wild game. You it's wild, yeah, game. it's not a wild game. It's a, it's wild, a wild card. card. <laughs> okay, so Helen says it's Shane's shoveling snow. Gosh, I hope not, because uh, he's not too far from me. Uh, Olivia says, Zach, what are you eating? I'm eating a euro, and Matt doesn't know what that is. So I, know I hope a euro is. I know what a euro is. The first time you said it, I thought you said something about uh, Benedictine and euros, and I you said euros, not euros, and so I was confused. Uh, as if you're doing currency trading or something, which and I'm also that well, would be fair. That'd be a fair thing for you to just suddenly start doing, right? Yeah, I mean, I, it's not the first time I've done some day trading for currency. So there you go. See, um, that bourbon <laughs> and Benedictine. There you go. Um, so let's see. Torrance is asking, "What do you guys think about guaranteeing a number of appointments with a chat bot?" I'm never crazy about guaranteeing appointments. You know, I know I can generate leads. Guaranteeing appointments, um, even if I have a consistent number that I think are going to happen or that I've seen happen in the past, guaranteeing that is always a risk, you know? So I, I prefer to guarantee a number of leads because that's something I can almost always control. What are your thoughts, Zach? Um, Especially with chatbots. What are you drinking? Uh, Jack and Coke. Okay. That's a little bit more civilized than your normal. <laughs> uh, with chatbots, no, I think that's 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 a bad move. But no, I mean, so I like to guarantee results in two ways. Uh, here's Shane, so I'm going back to the bar. <laughs> um, what's going on, Shane? How much? What's up, Zach? What's, up, what's going on, Shane? I'm just <laughs> I'm just living the life that you know I live. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. Were you really at the bar? Ran back home? Yeah, I've been at the bar since 3.30 today. Nice. <laughs> With my laptop. Yeah, well, you got to be able to work. I mean, yeah. Do <clears throat> work. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, cheers, guys. Nice to see everybody. Zach, thanks for uh, hopping on. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for what? <laughs> For being here. <laughs> oh man. Shane can't Shane can't judge me. At our noon call, he was drinking fucking wine today. So <laughs> what's that? I said you can't judge. You were drinking wine at noon today. So oh, I wasn't judging. If you can't do some day drinking. What's the point of being an internet marketer, man? 
I mean, we get people on these coaching calls. They're sitting there with a beer at like noon. Wait, oh, how my. many of us are wearing pants right now? Oh, I don't even want to ask. <laughs> I don't even want, I feel like this is like one of those ladder 49 scenes that's about to happen if we're not careful. <laughs> so th this is what, like, this is how it is. All the, I, have a, I have like three shirts in the closet. And every time I get on with a client, it's like I throw on a shirt. <laughs> Not wearing a whole lot, but every once in a while you gotta be careful because like, like I'll get up to go grab something, right? Or like if the call lasts for a long time or something, I just say, <laughs> you gotta be kind of careful. Yeah, there's a brilliant commercial about a guy that does, works from home. I forget <laughs> who, it, who does it, so it must not be that good because I don't know the company. <laughs> but, but he gets up and he's wearing his boxers. And I wear tidy white. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, I do remember that. I don't know what commercial. I don't know what company that was either. So I've seen Shane's two two additional shirts hanging with his open closet door open before. I'm like yeah. Shane, close they the just door. interchange the shirts, and every yeah. once in a while they disappear. They go to the dry cleaners, and yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, oh yeah. man, uh, let's see here. <laughs> Drinking since noon is the least of our problems. I haven't wore pants since fucking 2005. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's why nobody's allowed to show up to the office. <laughs> uh, let's see here, where are we at? Live from Houston, Fries. Mm. What's the best way to pitch services to a team leader? Well, that's an interesting question because it let's, is a little bit different. Let's answer Torrance's question because I know he posted that inside the group and he made an effort to join on tonight and actually type that out. So, <laughs> and uh, I think we have a little bit of experience there too. Um, yeah. Yeah, like so. So Torrance, we ran um, several bots and tried to book appointments. Um, so we ran it where we were asking the appointment first, and then we ran it where we we're asking the appointment at the end. We ran it lead form to chatbot. We ran directly to Messenger. Uh, we spent enough money to decide that it just wasn't worth um, the effort. Um, however. Matt feels that it was because what were you, I think we were getting appointments for roughly about 20 to 25 a piece. Yeah. Maybe about 20 to 25 a piece mm -hmm. when we, um, when we, when, when we asked the appointment for like first, that was the first question that we were asking inside the chatbot. Um, and we're supposed to, I think um, uh, Pat's actually working on, finishing up because the flow is a little weird so i think he was finishing that up and then uh, that'll be added to the uh, course content so torrents you'll have access to that so best thing to do is just try it out and see it could have just been the market that we were working in um does you know. no one see the irony in relying on pat to make something not weird <laughs> <laughs> why well, I, I think i think the <laughs> i think the problem was that that matt made a really weird and then <coughs> Pat wants to make it less weird. Yeah, <coughs> pretty much. So basically we're fucked. <laughs> pretty much. But I, I think you, Zach, I think you fixed a lot of the, uh, the copy. Uh, copy too, so. Yeah, it's nice when we get all three of us working on stuff. It goes through like multiple versions until it, it works really well. <laughs> or and it, was, it, it was working. I think if we would have uh maybe tested out like maybe conversions or we ran traffic to the bot maybe that would have you know we could have gotten those costs down significantly and then maybe it would have made sense but and just... also to touch on that there's two ways that i guarantee appointments number one guarantee appointments in a way that is utilized to get that person on the call it's the same way you utilize the foreclosure campaign, right? Mm -hmm. You're promising these people amazing deals with the foreclosure. And then within 30 seconds of your client getting them on that call, they're deterred away from the foreclosure and they forget entirely that they were there for an enclosure for a foreclosure. Same idea with guaranteeing an appointment, right? Does that make sense to you, both of you? Yeah. So you're basically using the, you're using it as the offer, the front end offer. It's an irresistible offer that's going to get them to raise their hand and you get them on the phone. And then right away, you <coughs> very quickly move them away from that. Yeah. The other way is you get a client that's willing to spend so much money that you can guarantee them 10 appointments. Yeah. Like if you have a client that's spending 
$10,000 a month, you better believe that I can guarantee you 10 appointments. <laughs> $10,000 for ten, thousand dollars an appointment. I mean, I can do that. Zach's like, I'll, ju- I'll jump on the phone myself. I mean, look, that's not, that's not far away from what I've done. <laughs> really? I mean, it's really not. We've all been, we've had those seven, $8,000 clients and I'm telling them, I get them on the call and it's like, you're going to, I'm, I'm going to guarantee you 10 appointments. Mm-hmm. You spend $2,000, <laughs> you're going to get those 10 appointments. Well, and the other thing I think you got to be careful about is you need to define an appointment with your agent, right? When you're working with somebody, you need to have the same terminology because for some people, an appointment is somebody shows up to my office and if they don't show up, that wasn't a good appointment. Right. For some people, a follow up call is an appointment. So you have to label what an appointment is, define that so that you're not having a conversation after their their first month or, or whatever it is where they're going. I didn't get these appointments. You're going, yes, you did. Right. If you're not on the same page with this, you're, you're setting yourself up for a loss. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see here. You might have to do that. Um, I think we're live. Who just. Who just turned up? That was me. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Question, the questions. All right. Me. Sorry. Yeah. No, I was uh, looking at this. Steve says traffic to messenger 25, 490 uh, household in five days. Okay. So Steve had some good results with his leads. Um, I'm not sure if that was a question. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What, what are you eating, Zach? Messenger? What's that? What are you eating, Zach? Euro. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Do you not know what a euro is? No. So many people don't know what a euro is. I don't know what a euro is. But I, I, I uh... just Google it, Shane. G Y R O. It's it's like G it's a... G U R I O. No, G Y R O. Oh. I don't know how to spell that in French. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just pronounce it differently. Okay. In New York, <laughs> where I grew up in New York, they pronounced it gyro yeah gyro yeah Yeah. i've heard gyro but then i realized then i learned a little bit of greek and was like oh that's the most ignorant way to pronounce that (laughs) it's it's a euro right (laughs) yeah tim robbins says best live in uh real estate (laughs) you're welcome i'm glad you're enjoying it um so what other questions do you guys have right now? I mean, what are your questions on real estate marketing, running ads, closing clients, whatever it is? Uh, let's see here. Otherwise, we're just going to let Matt talk, and that's a fucking nightmare for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I must get the fuck off of this call. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, Shane and I are jumping off. We're like, holy fuck, this is a nightmare. <gasps> Matt's just going to do it. There you go. <laughs> Was Pat joining us today? Uh, I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, okay. This can't get worse than it already is. <laughs> not, not. Oh man, uh, Steve says no mo. Just because Shane said traffic to messenger should have uh, should have been tested, so I was just sharing my results. Right on, right on. Um, how do you pitch your services to a team leader? Sorry, we missed your missed your question there, Olivia. Or we started to, and then we didn't. We skipped it. But anyways, uh, wait, Shane, I got it. You- I got it. I got it covered. I go next. I go next. Okay. Mine's going to be real short and sweet. The same fucking way you pitch it to any other person. Damn it. That's exactly what I was going to (laughs) say. Oh, man. But guys, real quick. No, there's a deeper meaning to this. Mm -hmm. It's it's the same question we took in the, in, in, in the private group. It's the same question. Sorry. I have my hemp investor popping by. Um, actually I need to, I need to go pause for a second. Sorry. Right on. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but he left his video on perfect oh that's cool so shane why don't you handle that one and i think oh, yeah, I just i was olivia, just kind of... oh i was gonna say olivia before we before we completely just dive right in uh are you referring to a team leader as in um a keller williams team leader or as in a leader of a local real estate team because those are two different things uh yes he did just say hemp investor <laughs> <laughs> this is hump investor <laughs> oh, goodness but no i think those are two different things and one would be more like uh pitching a local brokerage and one would be more like pitching a local real estate team okay so it's a local real estate team go ahead Shane. 
Well, yeah, I was just going to say the exact same thing that Zach said. I mean, it's uh, you, you pitch them the exact same way you pitch. Well, we would typically pitch them the exact same way that we would normally pitch a, an agent. Um, mm-hmm. uh, not not much changes. I mean, you know, get on the phone, figure out what they want. Um, you know, figure out what their challenges are, what their wants are, their needs are, desires, and uh, you know, go through your value stack and pitch that. Um, you know, a lot of times. You know, what ends up happening with team leaders in a lot of cases, they want a lot more leads. Um, so, you know, we've got, I've got one team leader right now that I'm working with um, where they they want, you know, three or 400 leads a month. Like that's what they want to scale to. So clearly that's going to cost more money. Right. But that's, you know, you can find that out through your discovery call. And as you do more of these, you just get better and better. And so you can, you can start, you know, it's like, okay, well, you can start doing the math in your head. And it's like, okay, my base package is this. They want an extra 300 leads. Um, now, one of the things I, I, I do like about pitching to team leaders and brokerages is that when you position it where they can um, collect the referrals, uh, then it, it, you know, it might change things a little bit because it, it's, yeah, they're, they're paying for ads um, and, uh, you know, they'll be getting referrals from their clients as well or from the, the agents as well, right? So I, have, I had one team leader where they were collecting 25% referrals. Uh, from their agents and uh, same with the brokerages most of the brokerages I've ever worked with have collected referrals from the lead gen's um, efforts so it just it's another way of them you know like the brokers themselves all they really care like the some of the ones I've worked with really what they care about is just feeding leads to their agents retaining agents and attracting new agents and the lead gen side of it is a really good way to do that Mm -hmm. and then collecting the referrals allows them to pay for the marketing yeah so, you know, if you can position it like that, that's great. Team leaders, is, it's some a little, sometimes it's about the same, or like it's roughly the same, but sometimes they, they, the team leaders are also doing some of the selling as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, and then you also have brokers that are also uh, agent, like sell, you know, agents that are trying to sell as well. So it really depends on the situation. You can find all that out through your discovery call, right? So, right. And she says she's actually meeting them in person. Perfect. Best way to meet somebody. There you go. Shane, and you've done quite a bit like that. (laughs) What's that? I just don't think Zach. (laughs) (laughs) No, I said you've done quite a bit of like the in-person meetings for your pitches. Yeah, like my first, uh, like my first year of, of, you know, doing the agency stuff, like it was all, um, it was all face-to-face pretty much. Did you find it easier or tougher than the phone calls? Um... I like face to face, but that's just my personality, you know, like, again, you know, everybody knows, like, I like, I like building relationships, right. And I just find it a lot easier in person. Um, mm-hmm. I also like doing zoom calls over telephone I calls. Like you know. meetings for your pitches. Shut up. <laughs> Zach's got to mute the mute the live. Um, all right. So Tim says, what is your solution for MLO partnerships? Uh, no, wait, let's take this other comment real quick. Someone said Zach needs to throw up and I don't really understand what that fucking means. Oh, because you because you walked out like randomly. <laughs> oh, no, actually, it, you want to make fun of me, fine. I actually just accepted a check. <laughs> I just accepted a check for 50000 <laughs> Are you going to mute that or what? <laughs> what happens if we all do that? <laughs> wait, who is doing that? That it's is you. you. Oh, sure. Okay. Let's well, say I just took a, I just took a check for fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> so I wasn't going to throw up. I was actually getting a check for fifty k. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so Tim Robinson says, or Robson says, what is your solution for realtors and MLO partnerships? Do you run ads for both, or who pays for what? So there's multiple ways to do that. Uh, depends on who is kind of taking the lead, right? Who's going to be the first point of contact? Is it a MLO? And we mean mortgage loan originator when we say MLO, um, or if it's going to be a real estate agent, right? So if it's going to be a partnership where the MLO is partially paying, typically they'll pay part of it. The agent will pay part of it and the agent will be uh, taking lead on that, right? And then the MLO might have access to it via the uh, CRM or vice versa. Maybe the agent's getting access via the CRM and the MLO is taking lead. Basically, somebody's got to take lead, and then the other person gets <laughs> the other person gets access. <laughs> so the, the journey. <laughs> I 
are you laughing at me? Like, are, are you, like, I, I thought like I was under the impression that when you ask the question, like who's wearing pants and we, nobody said anything. I thought we were all just joking. Right. <laughs> you just accepted, now if you just accepted a $50,000 check in tidy whities that's even more impressive. Not going to lie. All right. I need degrees here right now, guys. <laughs> Saying in your numbers, that's 30 degrees. What's that? In your numbers, that's 30 degrees. It's 30 degrees right now in Savannah? 27-ish. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that was distracting. Let's move on. <laughs> so, Shane, uh, yeah, I mean, do you want to elaborate on that at all? No. Okay. <laughs> I, <perfect>. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, to be honest, I, I don't, um, you know, I have some experience, a little bit of experience with it, not a lot. It's not a lot of our agents that like a lot of my clients haven't um, split the cost. I've had a couple of them where, where they have, um, you know, typically 50, 50. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a maximum actually that the, LO the LOs can actually um, spend. It's yeah. 50. It's 50. Yeah. So yeah. I've done a couple of them. Um, definitely highly suggested if you can, swing that because then you know it's obviously they're splitting the risk so yeah i think a lot more people should be doing it than the number yeah. that are sadly yeah um, we spoke about this on the wednesday call yesterday's call Fuck. yeah yep. yesterday was wednesday um steve says how do you handle campaigns with local real estate that has a small audience size versus a realtor with a large audience size do you find the results are different any differences between them when it comes to cost per lead budget or results uh, I guess it depends on how small the audience size is, right? Yeah. I mean, there are differences. <laughs> it, it does. It depends on how, like, what's a small audience size? Do you, is it 100,000? Is it 5,000? Wait, what did I do now? Nothing. I'm just, I'm laughing at Max, at Max, yes. at Matt's response. <laughs> Good. All right. I you said me. <laughs> no, basically, uh, yeah, it depends on what your definition of a small audience size is. If it's a 10,000 person audience, um, yeah, usually we're going to see a higher cost. Uh, results, I mean, the difference is typically the cost um, and the budget that's necessary, right? But it, it depends. Like if they're running a low budget against a small audience, it's not nearly as big of a deal of running a massive budget against a small audience because you're going to run into that frequency. And when that goes up, your cost often goes up, right? So I typically, I mean, we typically say we like to see an audience around a hundred thousand or more. Um, that's tough though. And like some areas, I mean, yeah, you don't have a choice, right? So I've had some, uh, like some pretty good success in the past on smaller audience sizes. Uh, you know, we had one real estate agent, I think the auto audience size was like 45,000. It was a fairly small, um, like, I don't know, town or something like that. They did really, really well. And I think maybe it was just because, there's just no other competition um, in that area, but uh, you know they did quite well. Um, I had another agent that had a, a smaller audience size the, than the hundred thousand that did you know fairly well with like ads that were you know not typical ads that we would run. They were like, "Hey, I'm a real estate agent, and uh, if you want some help with buying a house, you know I'm free, and this is what I do." Like that kind of ad, um, and it did like. And I, you know, the crazy part is too. Like I told them. Uh, like, I'm like, I don't think this is going to work. Like, you know, you could, it was like way back in the day. Well, way back. It was maybe like, you know, six months, nine months ago. And I was, I was doing some coaching and stuff. Uh, and I'm like, you can try it and see what happens. Like he was booking appointments. It was, you know, he was actually turning those leads, which was so, you know, sometimes just a matter of testing. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, let's see. Alan says, like cold calling, Shane. No. Nope. No, we all have anxiety attacks because we hide behind computer screens. We don't call. call. <laughs> um, so, so I will admit, I did, I did do some cold calling once in my lifetime. I hated it. It was the worst thing ever. But the reality is, is like after, you know, I did have, like I had a script, not for this business. It was another, um, I was selling, uh, it was my last business. We were selling hardwood flooring across the country. But, uh, you know, I was- Which was, country? Canada, across this country. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I was trying to like break into the Western market. And so I was calling around like 
um, uh, stores and, and dealers out there. And so, I mean, you know, at the end, like after five phone calls, that anxiety disappears. Like it's just, if you have a script, memorize your script, you know, um, it, it just, you just go through it and that's it. And I'm sure Matt, you know, it's probably similar to what you've experienced as well, cold calling. Yeah. I mean, I, I did it more for real estate, but, uh, I think I just jumped right in and saw results pretty quick. So it wasn't that bad. Yeah. You know, whenever you can see results pretty quick, like makes it a lot easier. I will never do it. <laughs> I hate I it. Like hate I, it. I, I, I hate, man, I remember sitting like that one day I was, um, uh, like sitting at my, on my couch and I had my script in front of me on the table and I probably sat there for 45 minutes before I dialed the first number. It was horrible. Yeah, and just like, Pat, uh, and I, Pat and I, when we when we were starting out, we would sit there and we'd be like, okay, tomorrow we're going to do this. We're going to sit on Zoom and we're going to make fun of each other for doing it. <laughs> and that's how we're going to do it. And then every fucking day we'd make an excuse for why we weren't going to do it. <laughs> and then we were like, you know what? There's got to be an easier way than this. And uh, I did, I think I did seven cold calls in my life. Seven? Yeah. And then it was like, nope, never again. <laughs> if that's the way you got to make money, then I'm fucking working at McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, that said, for anybody that, hey, for people that want it, like, don't mind doing them. And people get great results. You know? Oh, no. Yeah. If you can handle yeah, I mean, it, yeah. if you can handle doing it, it's probably the fastest and easiest way to get business. I was not willing to sacrifice like my heart palpitations <laughs> to like, make money. I love money probably more than anyone out of all three of us. And I'm still not willing to fucking have anxiety attacks over it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll pay someone else to have that anxiety attack. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Oh, thanks. What about targeting? Would you go more blank targeting? Let Facebook algorithm do the works for a small audience versus being specific in the targeting? Um, yeah, I don't do a ton of specific targeting. You know, most of the stuff I do is, is wide open. Um, occasionally, if I have a massive audience, I'll do a little bit and compare the cost. But uh, yeah, normally it's going to be a wide open audience. And that usually works the best because Facebook Wait, algorithm. Can you guys see this? Oh, yeah. You got them. Well done. Caught it. <laughs> but most of the time, like I said, the, the Facebook algorithm is going to find those for you. It's going to take care of them. And uh, that's are you guys not having fun? Like, oh, I'm having a great, a great I'm time. So, I'm just distracted. When's the next time you guys are coming to Savannah? I know we're going to Vegas soon. It needs to be soon. <laughs> let me let me show you a photo real quick. But what? you're gonna have to put some pants on if we're coming over. I've got pants on. Okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. You ruined the whole thing. Oh, is that our bit? That was our bit. Uh. Oh well, oh well. Uh, no ladder. I just don't want to get what what, what 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 do they? What's that drug they put in your drink? Um, Rufinol. Ruth, yeah, that, that's what happened to me. I got roofied when I went to sit there. Oh, yeah, Shane is sitting there, fucking slamming on the sidewalk, just sitting there like someone put something in my drink. I swear. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember anything about that night. Oh my god. The the only the last thing I remember is me uh filming um jen live with the camera no, the wrong no, way but the funniest <laughs> part about that whole thing is you filmed yourself <laughs> zero part of that video was jen's karaoke it was I almost know. You. I know. It but was real cool. quick this was yesterday guys this is this is what we need to be doing jet skiing no ew fishing yeah i'm getting for some fishing jet as long as we can eat what we catch Jet skiing is like, hey, I just like made some money and I'm gonna go hang out on the river. <laughs> no offense, to people that like jet skiing, but like, <laughs> it's fun for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh man! All right, sorry. All right, let's see. What other questions <laughs> do we have here? Uh, yeah, we said wide open. I knew, I, knew, I knew that. I knew tonight would be a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> when Matt, when Matt messaged me and he said. Uh, Said, so, yeah, are you coming? Like, are you coming on? I'm like, yeah, it's like Zach's coming on. He's already wasted. <laughs> <laughs> every time we, 
every time we have Zach come on. <laughs> Anyways, it's always a good time. Always a good time. But the fun part is if people have questions, they can get them answered. So. And I feel like you should say that with a little bit more enthusiasm. Because <laughs> now I feel like you're just like blanketed saying like, oh, it's always a good time when Zach's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's always a good time, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's see. Um, Amanda says, there's nothing worse than selling a year's worth of frozen meat over the phone with cold calling. That was her first job. Real estate cold calling is nothing compared to that. My current position is much better. Uh, we're glad to hear that. <laughs> Who the fuck sells frozen meat over the phone? <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna lie. I bought, I bought steaks when they showed up in my house and they had like a freezer in the back of the fridge. It was just like, it was such a good deal. Um, What's wrong with you northerners? I don't know, man. It was good meat. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I found out I could have got it cheaper because I looked it up online and people were like, nope, this is their lowest price. I'm like, dang it. Where's my venison, Matt? Uh, I think I got to bring that next time I come. <laughs> or I need to ship it. We'll see. Um, can you travel? Can you fly with a deer? What, with a deer? No. With a no, meat? I would think there's a way to do it. I don't know. <laughs> Please. I could just, I could totally see Matt like getting to the airport to get the deer over his shoulder. Yeah, with his fucking plaid. He's, he's wearing this plaid. He's just got deer. He's like, well, I'll get it. Why can't I come on that plane? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Only in Detroit. <laughs> Only in Detroit. There you go. Got one of them shitty deers. Uh, Basil says, a quick question. My client asked me to move all Facebook ads, eight campaigns, 16 ad sets, plus 20 ads from ad manager to their Real Geeks account so they can get the leads directly to, onto Real Geeks and then push it to follow up boss rather than the current Facebook lead ads to uh, follow up boss. I wanted to know if I am making uh, the process of lead generation, split testing, et cetera, easy or difficult here by moving it all to Real Geeks. Um, from my experience, anytime you run the lead generation, like the Facebook ads, out of somebody's CRM, it is less effective than running it straight from the Facebook manager. And I, I don't know what Real Geeks looks like on the back end. Shane, I know. I you do. Yeah, I mean, is it something you can run your leads or run your uh, Facebook ads from easily? No. The no. only thing you can do with Real Geeks is rather than send a like Zapier through it, you can use their fucking integration. No, well, they, <clears throat> they have a Facebook, um, like they'll run your Facebook ads for you. It okay. may have been updated since the last time I've used it. Um, I just, I ended up, what's that? How recent is this? Uh, maybe last year or something. They have a, like they offer Facebook ads as part of their services. So, which is why I stopped recommending them. <laughs> So then everybody yeah, wants to pay for that two fifty a month real estate. Yeah, because they're like they're like yeah, it's a couple hundred dollars. I, I like I never use them or anything like that. I, I don't know anybody that's used their like their Facebook ad services. Um, and so maybe it's changed recently, like where you can actually start building out campaigns inside of Real Geeks. I'm not sure why you would do that. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, their sense. IDX is cool. Except it looks the same as like you can clearly tell any real estate agent that's using a Real Geeks IDX, but yeah, because it says Real Geeks at the bottom, <laughs> like powered by Real Geeks, and it's literally like there's no way you can change it. Which it's like kind of a pretty design, but like yeah, the only thing I really liked about Real Geeks was like their back end is pretty like. Although I found it, like I really feel like Real Geeks is is like they had an idea, they put it together. And then somebody else came in and had another idea and then they slapped that idea on top of it. And then they had another guy and that guy slapped on another idea on top of the software. So it's a little clunky for the management side of it, but like I, I their, their CRM side and the integration with the website and the fact that you can see people visiting the website, uh, their text messaging and you know, some of the other features they have, it's pretty solid. Um, and it's like, like literally within 15 minutes, you can have a client up and running with, the idx website i mean the fact that they use like three different templates makes real geeks really easy to set up nice but their templates are but ugly <laughs> they're, they're not nice looking have so they had a buyout what have they had a buyout no not yet i don't think so so there's just a bunch of fucking assholes all throwing their ideas into this plan <laughs> 
So to answer your question, Basil, uh, I think you're making it more difficult on yourself to run it through there. Um, Alex is asking, one realtor wants me to promote his book on real estate. What would you do to get some results in sales for him? What ads, YouTube, Facebook? Um, so we primarily focus on Facebook, depending on what his book is based on. If he's trying to recruit agents or if he's trying to get buyers and sellers. Um, I know there are a couple programs where people get like these basically white label books that they get to give to buyers and sellers. Um, if you're doing that, you just want to run it like a lead magnet. If you're doing the one where he's trying to recruit agents for a, a team or expansion, something like that, then I would probably copy something like the expert secrets funnel. Um, or you also probably want to tell him that's a bad idea. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Most likely. If he wants real estate leads, he needs to run a, a real estate campaign. Like PLR content is like the most bullshit garbage that you could possibly put out nowadays. And that's what your client has. It's not his own content. He bought some PLR shit from someone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They've got like- I mean, don't laugh, Shane. Game. That's true. That's what it is. <laughs> I, lo I love the honesty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt, you know what PLR is. We were talking yeah. about it the other day. Yep. Well, for people that don't know what that is. Private label rights. There you go. <laughs> I got <gotcha. laughs> you. Alex has rights for different, you know, articles, and and you could do. I mean, you could theoretically do some stuff. Um, I haven't seen anybody do it well. I guess is the problem, and I haven't put the time into doing it well because not since like two thousand and four. Yeah, when they were running mailers in two thousand four, it was a little bit more effective. <laughs> so so Alex says you guys are wrong, bitches. It's his own book. It's, it's his own book. Yeah. Okay, so it's his own book for investors. Well, then it's worse than PLR content. <laughs> his own book for investing. Okay, in that case, yeah, I'm probably going to look at the expert secret style funnel, you know, the free plus shipping. Um, I'm no bitch. Your book's not selling. Otherwise, you'd be <laughs> fucking selling it. Okay, like you're not giving it away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, call me a bitch all you want. I was kidding. You it know, wasn't. Uh, it was an Alex. Actually, I was kidding, man. <laughs> Calm well, down. I'm just saying though. Know, like your PLR shit or like subpar PLR shit is not selling. <laughs> Right. He, he didn't say that he said no it's the agent's actual book the agent you know what and i know some agents who have done this um they go get a fucking gig with bards and nobles okay like <laughs> yeah i have never seen great results come from that and again that's from the agents that i've seen that have come up with their own books oh, unfortunately the ones that i've seen come up with their own books have been um well i mean there have been a couple What's Shane, that? I, Shane, I apologize for multiple reasons. <laughs> <laughs> there, ha there has been one agent who had a, a great, like, it's, uh, it's all, it's all good. just not shut up for a second. <laughs> Zach and I are trying to have a conversation here. It's all good, yeah. Zach. It was, it was expected. <laughs> it was expected. Plus, like, y'all know what you get. Okay. <laughs> I'm not here to fucking beat around the bush. <laughs> if you want to write a Write a, if you want to write a book, like it's the most absurd thing I could possibly hear in 2019. Like for digital marketing, you're going to want write a fucking ebook. Like what's probably a real book? That's this e book you can like hold. It's probably a real book. And I've seen it. Even right worse, before. that means you have to fucking have upfront costs to print that shit. <laughs> That's the most absurd thing I've heard in Oh, okay, yes. So, so I'm going to answer Alex's question. Alex, run. Alex is actually one of our students. Yeah. Run. <laughs> like, go find a normal client. Alex, you keep getting these really hard clients, like million dollar condos. And now you got a real estate agent wants to sell a book. Run. Go, go get some like normal clients that have houses for sale. And <laughs> <you know. laughs> go get some clients that like want to sell some houses or buy some houses. <laughs> That's Alex. He always gets these like crazy clients. Let's see here. Uh, Scott, is it possible to generate generic real estate leads in an area without getting assets from realtors like listings, home lists, images, etc.? I.e., we build an ad, get leads, and pass them on to the realtor in the area. Shane? Um, yeah, so I was just reading the questions. Is it, <laughs> sorry, read the question again. So, is it possible to generate generic real estate leads in an area? without getting assets from real estate agents, like 100%. listings, homeless, images, et cetera, 
i.e. we build an ad, get leads and pass them onto the realtors in the area. All the time. Yeah, absolutely. hundred percent. We do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Craigslist is your friend. What? <laughs> I haven't uh, looked at Craigslist. The foreclosure time. campaign. Shane's um, not privy to the Craigslist hustle that we're on nowadays. <laughs> no, I'm not. We're always testing. We grab all of our images from Craigslist nowadays. Is that what you're doing now? Yeah, hundred oh. percent. I have no idea. Uh, let's see here. It's not private. It's not private owned content. It isn't. Fuck no, it's not. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Paul says, we've got a builder client selling new home builds. He's in the big medical precinct and wants to target nurses, doctors specifically in certain campaigns. Have you guys done these type of cans campaigns before? Any recommendations? I got to think that this. I'm so distracted by Zach. I don't listen to your question. <laughs> it's not my question. It's Paul's question. Listen to Paul. I'm sorry. Like, I understand, like, niching down niching as me and the canadian french say not niching like you fucking americans say but like i understand niching down but like what kind of real estate agent are you having as a client that's like uh i only want to work with doctors and nurses it's like, actually are you fucking kidding me it's actually pretty common because there are certain no, Matt, in detroit if they were like i only want to work with gmc employees then I'm like, oh, I get it because that's the only people in your fucking hood that actually have a job. Like, Here we go. Fuck. Here we go. This is where the show gets good. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That is not a comment. Matt, I get it, man. You're a real estate master. But no, that is the most absurd fucking thing I've ever heard. But hang on. Hang on. Because here's the thing. There are special loans and financing options available to doctors and nurses in the medical field because of the amount of money they're supposed to make once they're done with college. They are given those special financing options and therefore people often want to advertise them. My mother and my father are both doctors. Yep. I'm making 10 times a year what they fucking do. <laughs> you can suck my fucking dick if you want to tell me that my mom and my dad are going to qualify for a better loan than me, a fucking self-employed motherfucker that should not qualify for a loan at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Is it time that I go and sign up? Because if it is, that's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Only on a whiskey uh, Thursday. What is the program? Let me see. Is there... Uh, is there... So, wait, to answer the question... Wait, I want Shane's opinion on this. I think it's common. Like I, I, I just recently spoke to a real estate agent that um, only wants to work with doctors and nurses as well. Um, now, I don't know that very many people doing this are successful, but if you want to do it, what you do is you go to your title company, which can usually get you the, um, the lists of basically doctors and nurses in the area and uh, use that for custom audiences or use that for whatever you need for mailings. Um, but that's probably the way I would do it. Or you can use Facebook targeting either way. I, I just would probably go get the list of actual people that are doctors, nurses, and would qualify for this and create a lookalike audience personally. Well, I would test that against an actual Facebook targeting list. I appreciate that very coherent uh, thought process. <laughs> um, let's see here. Amanda, are you guys more both about to fire me tomorrow or something? <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's how it works. Uh, <laughs> we had the meeting and, and we found out we couldn't do it. So no. <laughs> yeah. You guys We're like, you can't, care. you can't, you're, you're no. We're like, all right. No, we're, just gonna, we're just going to delete this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so Amanda says more salespeople need to be as honest as Zach. The world would be a better place. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, Amanda, as much as I love you to death, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, maybe in the world of sales, but the world will not be a better place with more bees. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. Olivia's is having a bromant. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was in reference to, but I love it. Uh, no, I was just going to say, Olivia, I was on your squad until you just said the word fucking bromant. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Zach is very anti-bro. Um, and so is Al. Or Pat, whoever he is. 
Uh, I hate bro. I hate buddy. The bartender earlier today called me buddy and I was like, you call me fucking buddy again and I'm walking out not paying for my tab. <laughs> Al hates bro though, more than anyone I've ever met. Yep. It's really funny. Uh, let's see here. David says, take that mom and dad. <laughs> No, mom and dad got a nice house in the Caribbean. They're fine. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not going after them to like get them to give, sign their mortgages. There you go. <laughs> uh, Scott says, what type of campaign would you run for generic real estate leads? A homes list. Um, anybody else got anything you'd run for generic real estate leads? Define generic. Uh, general real estate leads <laughs> i think regular buyers and sellers homes list foreclosure campaign listing ads mm -hmm. those will get you tons yeah. of foreclosure campaigns gonna be my number one then a homes list then a listing ad <clears throat> same um, stuff that's been run in the newspaper since the 1970s this stuff's not changing guys yep uh let's see here Cheers, Zach. Zach, some people really need someone to tell them that their product is dumb. For example, the good old building. <laughs> that was uh, that was an interesting conversation that that was sparked in the group. I think it was interesting because a lot of people were very against his his pitches. I bet that fucking candidate got more business in the last fucking three weeks than anyone in this group because he's got so much publicity right there. Did, did you see? Did you did that have 130? Did you see the? Uh, um, I, like I think he ended up like on our top three. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, engagements and views. I think I've had like 2,000 views or something like that. And it was <laughs> crazy. People are still talking about that kid, and not only that, but like even after hundreds of people made fun of him, he still went in the comments before he left the group. But he's still in the comments and was defending. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. He's, the guy's got he's balls. committed. <laughs> yeah, like I'm sorry. We can all make fun of him all we want, which I think is honestly kind of fucked up that like we're all making fun of this kid so much. But like, nobody. Sorry, let me. So yes, a few people made fun of him, but I think that the majority of us were making fun at the fact that he was spamming the group. That like that was it, right? Like this is what you get if you spam the group. Yeah, at least that that was my thing. I was I like I, I watched this video. It's like whatever. Okay, you maybe you need a little bit more practice. Good for you for actually coming out, doing a video, and having like the balls to do that, and then put it in a group and spam a bunch of other groups. Like good I for took you. one of those one of only four phone calls he takes a week. Did you? Did you? No, God. <laughs> I would not have been shocked. I would I would have been like. You did, didn't you? And how'd that conversation go? I don't want to say this while Shane's on here, but I work three hours a day. I'm not taking one of those fucking hours a day to talk to that fucking asshole. But like, I'm, but I, <laughs> but I still appreciate what he does. Oh my God. Yeah. So good for him for doing that. And yeah. you know, it, like, and the thing is, is that like, yeah, like his post got an insane amount of views. And it's going to work for him eventually. Exactly. Yeah. Just I literally messages. think I, I I hope he comes back to the group. Honestly, like, I hope he comes back. I can't I every time like all the all the new members I keep adding. Like, I keep watching for his name, just waiting. For well, him. and I genuinely believe that there were, if you like, go back and look, there was a significant number of people that have said I'm interested, and I don't think all of those were saying I'm interested, making fun of him. No, I, I I agree. I agree. Yeah. So you know what? Like, if it takes three hundred people to make fun of you for you to get ten people to say like I'm interested, absolutely, you win. Yeah. Can you imagine if he put that out as a Facebook ad and like had the same engagement he got in the group? Like, how many phone calls he would have booked? I just bought that fucking end table and that monstrous chair <laughs> and, <laughs> and we're. Dude, like, we're about to start writing for You threw a snapshot of the video on Google Images and you're like, I want this furniture. Yeah. And I'm about to run some ads like, hello. <laughs> this is a very urgent matter. <laughs> I have four meetings remaining this year. <laughs> you know what? That would I bet you that would work. <laughs> I know it would. I bet I mean, Shane, Shane, like 
if you want to talk about stupid fucking ads that work, like let's talk about the thing, you know, you made that post of how Matt and Zach like to run test an ad at $600 a day. <laughs> we tested an ad at $600 a day. I, we literally, it took us 20 minutes of research to go find out what Zillow was fucking doing. And I was like, Matt, Zillow, Doritos, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, all of their ads online are one fucking sentence. Yep. Let's write one strong sentence. Fuck all these other like influencers and everyone that's writing these long form copy and fuck us that are writing like four sentences. Let's write one fucking sentence and see what happens. Yep. What I that's that that's that campaign. It's one sentence. Yeah. What happened? Like uh yeah. let's take a look what's like we went we were at what we were doing like 28 dollars a lead up to 33 dollars a lead on that one 33 dollars we're at let's see here i don't know last time i checked was really low it was yeah, 12, like 12 and change the last time i checked 12 and change yeah so half the cost you know yeah yeah Literally, the ad, the, the ad's one sentence, and like honestly, guys, you guys use the worst pictures ever. <laughs> it's like, you like that, but you see the one that's actually working really well. Yeah. It's a stock photo from Facebook. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, you can't question. Like, don't think that you know better than Zillow or you know better than Facebook. Is like I feel like is the lesson learned. Well, and we looked at so many different people because this is an agent recruiting app, right? And so we looked at so many, I guess you could call it that. We looked at so many different people that were running similar style ads. $8.74. And it was $8.74? Yeah. Boom. I love it. <laughs> at 600 <laughs> like, and like this is starting at 600 a day. That's what you guys started. You didn't even scale this. You just no, no, no. started. Just like, <laughs> let's go for it. It wasn't uh, even us being, it was kind of us being lazy, but it was also like, let's just see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've come up with some really good stuff with, uh, let's just see what happens. <laughs> like without a doubt. Yeah. Um, I mean, That's think about it. There's I so many people that are like, you have to scale it 20% a day and only if your lead cost and blah, blah. And it's like, let's duplicate the campaign and run it for 600. Well, no, but also remember like about a month ago when we were running something at $200 a day and I was like, Matt, let's put it at $1,200 a day right now. Don't duplicate it. Let's just put it at $1,200 a day and see what happens. And you're like, really? I was like, yeah, fuck it. You're, you're, the, the, the sentence is actually kind of interesting too. Yeah. That's, no, Shane, that's Zillow's sentence, but like slightly shifted. Yeah, anyway. It's like if this if Zillow Zillow was running, Zillow was fucking running like 40 ads on Facebook with this. I'm like, they're not really running. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Go to their go to Zillow Premiere. Yeah, Zillow Premiere. Okay. They're not running 40 ads with this same fucking sentence testing a couple of different images if this isn't working. Yeah. yeah. But they've already done all the testing too. What's that? They've already done all the testing right. too. Yeah. It was clear. They weren't testing their copy. They were testing their images. Yeah. Yep. Like guys, this, this shit's not hard. Like when you reach out to us and you're like, what, what copy should I do? What is this? What like, do fucking please stop messaging us. Do 10 minutes of research. And you might come up with something better than what we got. Because that what just happened to us. Matt, have you ever written a one sentence fucking ad? Shane, have you ever written a one sentence ad? I know I haven't. Nope. But we did a little research. <laughs> well, Matt, I came to you and was like, let's fucking see. Like, I was like, do you ever notice those big fucking companies do one sentence ads? It has to work. I was against it. Yeah. I was against it because I'm like, yeah, but this isn't. Let's like show the ad. ad. Should we show? Let's show the ad. We can't. We can't. Yeah, can I we? can. I can screenshot it. Let's Don't show the ad. The no, no, I'm not gonna, I, no, no, I'm just okay. going to screenshot the ad. Hang on. I'm going to show All you guys. Right. This. Who wants to see the ad? Do you guys want to see the ad? Let us know in the comments down below if you want to see the ad. We might show it to yeah, you. Yeah, maybe nobody wants to see the ad. I don't know. 
I haven't seen a single comment since we, since we started talking about the ads. I don't no know. No one is getting excited about eight dollar leads because they don't know what the fuck it is. No, but right. and it's not. It's not. Yeah, I mean, so so this is agent, something you can recruit agent recruiting campaign, right? Leads that were like they rose to about thirty dollars a day. Thirty. They might even get higher at some. They were about thirty. Oh, almost thirty four. So guys, like whoever didn't actually see the comments in the group, this was the campaign that Zach went from three hundred to twenty seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, and that on the other hand, that took it from twenty three dollars at the time to forty seven five. Yeah, it did not go well. Yeah, but you want to you want to give Facebook a big fuck you? I got us a nine thousand dollar refund. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm, me I'm messaging Zach at like 12:30 at night on a Saturday, and I sent him the screen. Like, well, no, I, uh, yeah, I sent you the screenshot. I'm like, um, is this like, did you mean to do this? And it's like, and I'm like, what the fuck do you oh. mean? I mean to do this? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was great. Actually, I think I said I didn't do that. And you're like, no, I can see the actions, which I didn't know was possible. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, not and like I just, you know, I was just looking to see who actually did that. And I think what the the issue was, you were just trying to bring down the actual, like that's so probably what it was. Two hundred seventy-five, yeah, seventy-five a day. <laughs> what what a crazy mistake! In four days, we spent four. In four days, we spent ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was, was pretty in, wild. That was insane. So anybody wants to see now, the we have, now we have clients like Nick Good that are like, can you spend ten thousand dollars a day for me and then get a refund? <laughs> and then give me a refund. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know like, maybe that's wow. that's maybe that's a good like that might be a good strategy. Here's your amazing trial. You want to give somebody a trial, just spend ten thousand and then go to Facebook and be like, this was an accident. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. But, it but the, so the crazy part is actually this is the second refund. Isn't well, it? yeah, you get one per ad account. But this is the second refund we've gotten for this one client, isn't it? No. Oh, I thought we had gotten another no. one for them at one point. Oh, okay. No, no. They, oh, Facebook fine, we're so will, lucky. Oh, I've made that mistake. Facebook will not give you two. So, <laughs> so we, we got lucky on this one. Yeah. Yeah. The first time th I've only done this twice. The first time was uh, I spent nine hundred or eight, like just a little over eight hundred dollars, and I was like, "Oh my gosh! Thank God they gave me this money back." <laughs> and then this time it was over eight thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't our, our refund was like eight hundred or something? Okay. Like so that. so here's something you don't know, Matt. Like so when I when I was messaging Zach that night, like Saturday night, and I'm like. Um, yeah, we spent almost ten thousand dollars in four days here. He's like, oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay, well, I guess I'll just pay for it. <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> like that. Like Zach was like literally just about to like, okay, fuck it, I give up. Like I'm just gonna pay for it. You know? <laughs> hey, thanks, Zach. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Shane, if you recall, we made Matt pay for one of his mistakes that one time. Did we? Yeah, yeah. that's true. It came out. Uh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt's paycheck. Yup. Actually, Matt and I split that. Which one was that? That I remember that. Same we client. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is that What's client that? still paying us? I have no idea. <laughs> we, have awesome. up, we have fucked up so much. And we're about to give away their best ad. So. Yeah, you know why we're like I know why we still have the client because we're delivering insane results for them still. True. Yeah. That's why. Like, that's the only that. reason they're, they're getting insane results so that you know and the thing is is that yeah we made a mistake but we fixed it right the yeah. last mistake we made we fixed it i mean yeah. that's part of it that's part of the client management side of it that's part of you know owning up to your mistakes and you know we spent the time with facebook getting that refund for them you know we would have been willing to like i think at the end of the day when we did the math on that we would have owed them you know six thousand dollars or so we would have been willing to pay that back like that's why they're with us yeah you know? yeah we're not walking away from this stuff, you know. We're well, and now we problems. now we get to now we get to call them tomorrow and be like, "Hey guys, uh, your lead cost is chopped down by three times." Yeah, yeah cause that actually ended up making their lead cost insanely low, um, and giving them a massive amount of lead. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So are we showing this out or what? Or nobody Let's wants show to show it. See. Everybody wants to see it. Everybody wants to All see right, it. So here it is. I mean, they're already seeing basically like what our conversations are like anytime after two p.m. in the afternoon. So. <laughs> uh, let me show you. Right, me How many people check. are on here? Is anyone smashing? 21. How many? 
21. That's not even close to enough. 22. We just got another. Way to go, Zach. Keep 23. They're going up. Can I get 24? Can I get 24? 24. Anybody? Oh, 22. Dang it. All right. All right. <laughs> Shut it. Just, just stop talking. Sorry. That's the problem. How did Pat decide to not show up right now? Uh, I think he wanted to post a picture earlier of him drinking a beer. So I don't know why. He should be here. Pat, Pat is such a fucking nerd. <laughs> God damn. I, I want to post the, That's the response that he wanted to post a picture of himself with a beer. Just I, I, just, I just absolutely hate that motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody tag Pat. Pat the nerd, come join us. If you guys are watching no live, hashtag live in the comments name. below. If you're watching the replay, hashtag oh, in the comments below. Jay, no one knows his name is Pat. It's no, his Al. name's Al. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where this is, is such mess? a mess tonight? Hashtag what a mess. I love it. What's Hang on, messy? guys. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Shane, did you have a sales call like shortly ago? Because you're wearing a fucking... No, I grabbed one of my shirts. So that's Is this the, the one doing the best right now? Yep. No way. It's the sales I, sign that's doing the best. No, that's I thought it was the sold one. sign. It's this one? It's this one. I this love the it. one for eight, $8.58. There we go. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> this is all we did was type in sold in the Facebook stock images search. Yeah, that baby is even scarier looking than Matt's kid. So. <laughs> That's so nice, Zach. <laughs> oh, is that like off limits? Is that, did I just reach the point of like <laughs> offending Matt and Alexa? <laughs> You're golden. I think, I think, I think, I think it's Alexa, that. shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I've got an Alexa here. And every time I make fun of Matt's wife, my fucking bitch in a box yells at me. I think, I think you've already taken care of that. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see. Do we have any more questions? We kind of have some questions by now. And we just gave away a, like, if you're running a client acquisition funnel and you're not going to use the images and lines, we just gave you, you're crazy. Um, we went to a bunch of people that are running client acquisition funnels and this is what we came up with. And like I said, we're seeing leads, full leads with the zip count, zip code. They want leads in their full name, email, and phone number um, for only what? 865 is what you said, Shane? Uh, eight dollars seventy four cents right now. Eight seventy four. My bad. So yeah, if you're running a client acquisition funnel, um, you and, definitely and, want to steal that because this will be gone in the morning. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think this may have done a little bit better too if we would have scaled it slowly. You know, potentially, maybe. maybe you know, we don't really know. Um, right. But uh, I'm gonna give you guys the next one. <laughs> All right. Hang on a second here. Um, you can look for questions though. Well, All right, I'll look for questions because I got to blur out names and shit. <laughs> you know how it goes. I should be actually adding our thing to this. All right. I'm going to check my text messages while you guys do this because people are. It's... Amanda says Matt's kids are adorable. I disagree. I love it. Uh, Olivia, what about targeting? Uh, we targeted real estate agents in a couple of like four or five terms that had to do with real estate. That was it. Um, job titles and interest. That's it. Yeah. Job titles and interest. Real estate. Uh, let's see here. Scott says, if a realtor wants to just straight leads in an average market, what would you charge per Facebook lead? We actually don't charge per lead. Well, do we? I don't know. I'm trying to think, how would you say that what we charge? We charge a flat fee, flat fee with a guaranteed number of leads. Um, so it depends on how many leads they want. Flea. What's that? What's a flat flea? Flat flea. It's one you step on. <laughs> a flea you step on. Uh, you'll miss them because they're real small. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, find, you'll find a flat flick first. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Zach just got great. So there, there's, Here we go. The, there's the other one. Yeah, that was the one that I was so. That was the one that was the winner for a while, and I was like, "That's the most ludicrous." You, fucking ass. you know, I was thinking about it after we saw this. Um, I was thinking about going to this uh, local real estate board, and I could go buy a sold sign and like just putting it in front of a house type of thing, and putting it up there, taking a picture with it, like with a, a cell phone, and using that. So yeah. I, I still might try that, but we'll see. Um, that, that's the one that's gotten the most leads so far. Yeah. 
Yeah. So the other one's cheaper, but it's got less leads. This one's a little bit more expensive and it's got a lot more leads, like almost four times the amount of leads. Yeah. So, so I mean, if you're running client acquisition funnels, I hope you're selling these leads because or these, <laughs> these uh, ads because they work really well. And you could have just gone to Zillow. <laughs> you could have just gone to Zillow because that's where <laughs> that's where Zach sold them from. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a similar line, but we changed ours a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. What, let's see what question. That's we're the at. thing, though. Can we take a moment here, real quick? Like, please, let's take a moment. Instead of asking me, bothering me in my Facebook Messenger or like someone else, like give me more ad copy examples, like. I'm not a fucking rocket scientist, guys. Like, I have a fucking theater undergrad, went to law school, never practiced fucking real estate. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going and looking at other people. Like, I, I guess the only thing I've actually learned in, in my educational system is how to do research. Like, yeah. stop looking for fucking handouts. Like, Sure, I will hand give you some handouts, but like also just go go look. Facebook did this beautiful feature this year. Go to any fucking real estate page and go to info and ads. Oh, they, it's even gotten better because what's that other thing they have now? Um, oh god, where you can research all the ads on a specific. Well, that's only if they've run politically influenced ads. Yeah. Um, what's that called anyways well like seriously don't think or that just, like or just do a or shane or me are the smartest people zillow's way fucking smarter than us and has way more fucking money i went there in 10 minutes stole their fucking shit it worked yeah funnel hat <laughs> so the other thing you could do is do what zach and i do is just message matt <laughs> Yeah, message Matt, not me anymore, please. He's way nicer. He's from the Midwest. Shane's from Canada. I'm from the fucking Bronx. I'm me. <laughs> Don't message me anymore. <laughs> you know, the craziest thing, I think, out of the three of us, Zach's probably the one guy that will give you anything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want you want ads for MedSpa? Here, sure, no problem. Here are all my ads. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, want, dude, I had, a real, I had a call with a real estate agent on Tuesday that was like, I can't afford your guys' services. I was like, set up a time tomorrow and uh, I'll get on with you and your assistant. And I'll show you guys how to do it yourself. <laughs> she was like, how much? I was like, free. And I literally did it. I <laughs> did you? Her. Yeah, I taught her how to fucking set up her business manager. I showed her how to fucking create an ad account, how to attach her payment to it, and I showed her how to do fucking ads. But that's the thing, and oh. I've always said, I've always said this about you, Zach. It's like you, 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 your, you, like your persona is like this, this mean, nasty guy I'm drinking all the time. I swear all the time. But as soon as somebody asks, you, like, hey, do you have it? Like, could you share some ad copy? Or like, I'm not sure how to do. No problem. Here you go. Ad copy, targeting, scripts, everything. Here's my funnel. Here's the funnel I stole from this guy. Here's the funnel. I, here's the course that I took from this guy. <laughs> here's my username and password. You want a thousand bucks with that? Go test it out. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but see, the thing is, is because like, look, I don't, I don't consider that inherently valuable because I don't think me showing you what I've had success with is what's going to make you successful. And that's not, that's not like the reason why I'm giving like, cause I hope that it does make you successful, but like, that's not what's going to, you have to be your own person. Yeah. It's just like, you know, many people told me like, Oh, don't say fuck. Don't say shit. Don't be like who you are because you're not going to be successful. And I, my, my third day of law school, best class I've ever done, Harvard professor. And he starts saying, fuck you. And then he said the C word, which I'm not going to say because I actually am not okay with that word uh, of all words, but it's derogatory. We found the line. <laughs> I'm a big, I'm a big supporter of women. Bro and the C word. <laughs> yeah, no, buddy. I don't like buddy. buddy. I'll say buddy. I won't say the C word because I'm a big advocate for women. There you go. Um, but he he just fucking 
cursing here and there and back. And I was just like, the Harvard grad, net value of 130 million as a, as a corporate attorney. And he's talking this way and he made his life this way. And he's a tenured professor. And I was like, you can be yourself. You, you can be successful and still be the person that you want to be. And I was like, I'm done. I'm not going to like put this facade on for other people. I have lots of education. I have, I'm fairly smart. I'm not, but like, and I can talk a certain way, but I'm not going to fucking do it for anyone. I'm not going to do it for business. I'm not going to do it for money. I'm not going to do it to please people. And like, I, and I think that's an important thing to identify. Like just be who the fuck you are. And I think Shane is who he is. Matt's who he is. Pat's the fucking nerdy little loser that I love to death. Like, you know, like (laughs) we all are who we are. And I think that's very important to being like. (laughs) I I agree. I agree. I I know. I I ruined that. I ruined that tear jerking moment by calling Matt a fucking, or not Matt. Matt's also a nerdy fucking loser, but. But he has guns, so I can't say that. <laughs> but really, I mean, make up the micro center deal of the week stuff here. <laughs> I'm a- but really, but but the point is, is I think it's important that like, you know, our ad copy and, and our strategies might take you to a certain level, but it's not going to take you beyond that level. I think yeah. it's important to uh, to have some like, you know identification within yourself to, to realize how, what you're looking for and, and how to become successful. There you go. Um, so, fuck you both, okay? <laughs> no, I agree with it. I agree with it. Oh, 100%, 100%. I don't really have a ton to add to it. It was good. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's go back to questions. We do have a ton of questions. Like I'm seeing them come in now. So you apparently hit a spark with people um <laughs> let's see here i'm just a little nervous about what the questions are gonna be we'll see uh here we go what about okay here we go what about targeting so the targeting we already went over that one that's right um okay if a realtor just wants straight leads what would you try Wait, can we go back real quick yeah i'm so fucking tired of this targeting bullshit guys again the same way that matt and shane are smarter than all of you <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not but this, <laughs> Facebook is smarter than all of us, guys. Allow it to do. You know, Zach, that uh, brings up a great idea. What if we were to test that completely open targeting? Oh, wait. Like, you mean the thing we've been doing for the last fucking five years? No, 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 no. I'm saying the ad we just did where we targeted realtors and people interested. In, like, what if we just did that completely open? And you think Facebook would figure it out? Yeah, I did. Or our client would be like, why are doctors and people from Dairy Queen and everybody calling us asking about gonna, these leads? Yeah, I think you're going to have a hard time with that specific one because there's no, you have no key words in there. It's true. But you know what? They didn't call us out for overspending $10,000 in five days, so we might as well try it. <laughs> New ad account <laughs> where we can still get a refund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my God. That's the just- strategy. Yeah, we just that this is why you're this is why you're around. You're not a criminal like I'm a criminal, but you're still a criminal. Oh my god. That's the strategy. How many ad accounts do we have? Uh right now? As many as we run on like seven, eight. No, but like how many do we have available? We could do oh, this yeah, for as many as we want. We could do this for all our clients. Yeah. I mean that's the thing. A lot of people well, a lot of people had the eight hundred ad accounts and that got shut down a while back. So now you have to run um, ads on all the ad accounts you have before you can ask for a new one uh, after you open your first five. Well, is, that how, is that the way it is yep. for the next five? So yeah, you, so you have to spend like a hundred dollars and then like, hey, I spent a hundred dollars on all five ad accounts. Give me another one. They're like, okay, yep. sounds great. Oh, that's it. So you don't, there's no, like you don't have to like run more than a hundred bucks towards an ad account? Yeah, no, you just have to currently be using all Oh, the I see, I see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. That question comes up a lot. Like, how do I get more ad accounts? Yeah. I mean, basically, you have your first five is what it is now. Um, use your first five. Make sure you're spending on all five. And uh, you just go request for more in your, your ad account. It's pretty simple. Clearly, I've never had to do this. So let's see here. 
Alex says, what would you charge the realtor for the first time for management fee and ad spent if it's your first or second client? Uh, whatever you're comfortable with. I've seen people come out of the gate charging three, four grand. I've seen people who they want to charge 150 to 500 um, for the first client. So it's, it's more about what you're comfortable with as far as uh, a guideline. Like, I mean, if you, if you're not real confident selling a big package, you could sell, you know, 750 to a thousand dollars full on and, and give them 25 to 50 leads. Man, and you know what, this pricing thing comes up a lot. And in fact, yeah. like, like, you know, we've talked about this inside the course and I just built out a module on, or like a, a section of uh, our video on like pricing structure and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, as I was doing this, I was really thinking about like, what, and everybody wants that, like, what's the magic number, right? Like, what's that, that, you know, what's the price I should be charging clients? Like, how can we possibly answer that? Like, first of all, everybody's in a different situation. You've got, you know, we've got people. Hey, whoa, whoa. who's here? That's a surprise. Pat got real tired to be calling him a fucking nerd. I wasn't even listening, so whoops. Oh my god, well, Pat, don't listen back to it because I was like, I can't handle this fucking nerd anymore. <laughs> I, you can't handle. Look at this. Bam. A mini chat shirt. Yeah, what's even worse is you wore that. Midwest, bitches. So. What's worse is you wore that the last three fucking days in a row. <laughs> Maybe four or five. I don't know. <laughs> how, how, how much longer is this going on? Should I get a drink? A very Probably long should, time. yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Pat, yeah, I've been drinking since 3.30 this afternoon. <laughs> and that's yeah. in normal people time, not Midwestern time. <laughs> Oh man. So yeah, going back to the pricing though. Shane. Oh, right. Yeah. So I, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah. So I was building up this module. I was thinking about the pricing, you know, it's something, it's something people need to realize that everybody's in a different situation, right? Yeah. Like we have like, we have students from India that are doing like, they, they're, they're good, man. At 500 bucks each, like a $500 a client making a thousand dollars a client is huge. We're drinking them. Buchanan right. 12 year deluxe. Like nice. it. And we're still By the way, for from my sponsor. good friend, internet buddy, Omero Castro. We're still looking for a whiskey sponsor for the show. So if hey, yeah, can, you, can you please stop talking over everyone? There's nobody sponsoring sorry, this what? show. I want, I want a whiskey sponsor. Nobody <laughs> says sponsor this show. I don't, I don't want to pay for my whiskey anymore. That's all it is. Matt, just contact Mountain Dew. I'm sure they'll be glad <laughs> to give you your fucking mixer for your whiskey. There you go. There you go. And Pat's so proud of his fucking whiskey that costs like $45. It's like, what the fuck? What life? Hey. What life are we living? That $45 whiskey is like something like. It is, uh, dude. It's like, uh, it's kind dude. of the blend between Jameson and Laphroaig. It's really okay, so like you've been aging your whiskey for 12 years. What did it cost on year one? Four dollars? Like, I don't get it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's Welcome crazy. to the show, Pat. <laughs> Yay. So happy to be here, guys. What okay, were back to, what, what back were we talking to, about uh, before I so fucking rudely interrupted? <laughs> back to the pricing chain. Oh, pricing. Oh, I was just gonna. Yeah. So we're talking about pricing and how to, you know, price your packages or you know, services you offer to real estate agents. When you start talking price. about pricing your package, and Zach didn't make some kind of crude joke. <laughs> we're never gonna get through this. Whoever asked this question, <laughs> really we sorry. apologize. <laughs> Pat, look at my name. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Pat, look at my Pat, look at my name. I I, I see it. <laughs> Mike here. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish it. <laughs> I gotta make it to Kansas City and go to what? What? I was actually trying to tell someone today, Pat. What do they call Oklahoma City Joe's now? Oh, uh, Joe's KC. Joe's KC Barbecue. That's so wrong. I don't. Know. I know it is, but it is what it is. All right, how do you how do you price Pat's package again? Say it's by the inch. You ain't gonna get much. <laughs> Two bucks, three bucks, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> On a good day, gonna, we're never gonna get through. But it's cold, so it's like <laughs> buck and a half. Let me, let me just <laughs> let me just finish. <laughs> okay, this this video is getting deleted. <laughs> No, it's not. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
And go. Okay. We'll just clip this part. Commence. Clip it. You kind of have we do a clip a live video. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Stop being a fucking genius. <laughs> it's not getting clipped. It's getting That's on Facebook fucking fucking Pat's drinking some bathtub whiskey that's been brewing. Dude, this stuff is good. This stuff is delicious. Matt's like, let's move on to the next question. Yeah, Matt, what's the next? Matt, what's the next question? We're still on the pricing question. We never. Okay, let me just make. Let, let me make a point on the pricing. Go for it. Everybody, let me talk. Of your lead generation package. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, it depends on where you're at. It depends on how much you need. Like exactly. So yeah, depending what your your current situation, where you're from, your market, the clients that you're dealing with, the level of your experience, um, what you're offering. Like there are so many variables um, when you're putting together your pricing. I mean, it's really really difficult for us to actually say, okay, how do you price your you know how do you price your real estate lead generation package. Oh. That's what she said. All right, so go ahead. No, but it's true. I think um, for me personally, like when I was Wait, this is the first time I think I've ever seen Shane genuinely laugh in my life. <laughs> uh, there were a couple times uh, when we were in Savannah. But oh, that's true. Shane had, uh, honestly, I think one of the best times Shane's ever had in his life was us at the karaoke, karaoke bar in Savannah. Oh my God, that was so much fun. Also, did you guys know that Shane knows, um, he went to high school with, uh, what's her name, Shane? Oh my God. It's Alanis. Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Had yeah, like, like, like four or five of the songs were like, you know, at the karaoke bar were Alanis songs or maybe three, maybe. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's continue. <sighs> So if, I guess for a bottom line, for me personally, the, the lowest retainer I've ever charged, I believe, was like $125. So it was like very low, very, very low. But don't listen to Matt. That's like, that's like D-Rock City numbers. In like normal, normal society, that's like $3,000. Come on. You know, Matt, <laughs> Matt, Matt's done. Matt's, Matt's price is package like an eight ball. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say what I've traded for. I said what I've priced it. This, this whiskey's Thursday is just turning into like. Is, is, we still have twenty people watching. We appreciate you. You're sorry. Already. Shut You're up. Crazy I'll enough to watch this. I'll shut up. We appreciate it. I mean, but this is now you understand why our meetings go so long. Our meetings are no. Our meetings Wait, are. We can drink like, during our meetings. No, we do, we can we. Oh, I I hope so. Shane, what do you mean? You were today. <laughs> Forget that was a different meeting. That was like, hey, let's have a meeting in the middle of the day. Our Monday morning meeting. <laughs> that's that's a bad idea. Monday morning meeting. Do that we'll talk. We don't. Yeah, we don't. Be, we're we're not drinking on that meeting. We weren't until we this weren't. Week. That's right. <laughs> All right. Let's take more questions. All right. So yeah, um, pricing depends on. A lot of things. Uh, let's see here. Use Good summary, funnels Matt. <laughs> or lead forms and why? Funnels or lead forms? Lead forms, 100%. Lead, lead forms. forms, 100%. Why? It's just, oh, okay, let me go through so many reasons why. You get one reason. Okay, I'll, I'll pick one. Can we Easy. just skip this? Why? Let's nice. just do it. No, somebody, somebody, Zach, you got to understand, somebody took the time to type in the question. <clears throat> Because it wasn't even answer. a full sentence. It doesn't matter. Maybe they're on their phone. Maybe they're like, you know, listening and driving. Maybe it's hard for them to type. There's all kinds of reasons why it's not a full sentence. Right. Shane, Come Shane, on. Shane. I'm, I'm fully sympathetic to this person that wrote three words. Okay, go ahead. No, I used three words to ask their question because I, I got it. And it was that simple. It was a, it was a full question. All right, um, so I blame Matt. Shane, enlighten us, please. Oh no. Okay. So, um, one reason it's just way easier to do. Yeah. That's one. Number two, um, it's usually cheaper. Give her <clears throat> usually, usually, cheaper. usually cheaper. Um, in my opinion, the lead quality is no different. Yep. That's just my opinion. Um, and, uh, it doesn't cost anything. You don't need to buy, you know, another piece of software to build landing pages out. And uh, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know we, how many, like we, we do 10, 15, 
20,000 leads a month right now using lead forms yeah. and it's outperforming anything. Um, let's see here. If you're showing ad copies, I'd love to see the seller ones. Aaron, if you want seller ad stuff, um, I think we did it in the free webinar. That we oh had. my God, guys. Okay. Let's just, okay. For the people that are watching that are, are not students and you're looking for stuff, the course is like, you can get our student beta course. You still can get into this. The URL is uh, ooh, uh, HTTPS colon slash slash beta dot re number eight dot me. We are letting people in the beta tonight? No, I mean, well, yeah, I think, well, yeah, sure. If you want to get in, you can still get in. You can go to that website. You can, the button is unlocked. I unlocked it for somebody else. It's for a couple other people to let them in. But anyways, there is so much freaking content in there. It's crazy. Master classes. You've got all of our content. You've got content from other marketers. We just did another one with Aaron Harris where he goes over his, did you see that? You guys didn't even know about this. I haven't gone this. through that yet. You guys I, didn't even I, know I just about talked this. To today and I, I haven't gone through that yet. Yeah. You guys had no idea about this. Um, Aaron came into the private student group. He did an hour masterclass on his home buyer campaign or his home buyer event campaigns. Uh, he did that a couple of weeks ago. Um, we've got Anthony Mann that's given us like up like these <clears throat> cool new updates. The newest real estate investor. Investors. Those are all um, uh, they're gonna be updates that are added to the archives. Um, we've got uh, uh, we just I just did another masterclass, uh, not a masterclass, but we just did an uh, uh, um, Peter, one of our students is getting awesome results, $8 leads on motivated sellers. Um, and I spent 45 minutes with him. I recorded the entire zoom session. He showed his ads, his targeting, everything else. Um, and, uh, he's letting us share that with the private student group. I, I mean, it just goes on and on and on the amount of content. I, I just saw another comment today inside the big group where somebody was asking like, what are the courses like, you know, like with, you know, Shane's course and, and Matt's course, like, what are they like? Like, you know, uh, Victor commented on that saying he's blown away by the amount of content. There's so much information in that course that the majority of the people that are part of that can't even get through the content. It's insane. At some point we are going to get Shane drunk enough when we meet up again, that we will be raising the price to at least 2000, if not three. So. Yeah. And it's so cheap right now. So <laughs> you guys want, if, if you guys are looking for, yeah, that you don't even know how copy drunk. you want to invest. You don't even know how drunk we can actually get Shane. I don't think anybody does because he just like passes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I got Ruby the first guy to pass out. No, I got Ruby up with a sharpie dick on your forehead. Shane was... got so drunk that he acted like a nineteen-year-old girl. Like maybe she she got roofied. No, I, I I got roofied in Savannah, hundred <laughs> percent. Hundred percent. Someone was just like, "See that Canadian?" Yeah. I, I remember. I remember three things: the the karaoke bar, losing your car, and laying down in my bed in the hotel room. That's it. Nothing yeah. else. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even sure. How, I'm not even sure how I got back to my hotel. <laughs> because I was like Shane on the on the drive home, I was like Shane, repeat your hotel room number to me. Just keep yeah. calling me. It. I'm shocked was, that I got back. And you were like, you're like two seven five, two seven five, two seven five. I was like, just keep telling me it. Make sure. <laughs> and sure enough, you knew. Thank it you for getting me safely to the front door of the hotel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh it did take us like 45 minutes to find the car though it took us forever we we lost the car it was insane and that's I when was... shane just went like this he just went i'm not walking anymore <laughs> i'm not i'm done i'm not walking anymore and he just sat on the sidewalk <laughs> i've been roofied <laughs> <laughs> oh my right. goodness Next anyways time. let's move on um, <laughs> let me see here. Uh, our ad library, we're talking about that. Yeah, that's in the course. Um, come on, Matt. Pat, what's going on? Tell us what's going on. What, uh, what's been going on today? Pat, where did you go to eat? What is this? Unruh's Brewery? Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, our, one of our, one of our clients has been working with some friends who moved their brewery up from Spring Hill, Kansas to Olathe, Kansas, and it's called the Red Crow Brewery and it is damn delicious. 
So, is it worth going to like over Oklahoma City Joe's or like? Well, I mean, they've got they've got brews and stuff, and then they uh, you know they got their own brews, and then they've got guest brews, and then um, they have rotating food trucks that sit out back, so they've always got something different. So what do you eat? Love it. Well, tonight they had a like a pizza and wings truck. Last time they had a like a taste of Brazil, and so I had some kind of giant fried thing with chicken and cream cheese in it. It weighed like ten pounds. It was fucking delicious. I hate to break it to you, but they don't make cream cheese in Brazil. Yes, they do. Thanks for clarifying that one. <laughs> they do it all into Kansas when it's in a food truck and they fry shit up in a big giant. Can we just talk for a second about how amazing food truck food is? Like, I don't know if I've I had love it. That was awesome. Food ever. Like, it's just so amazing. And tonight it had wings and they were really good. So, <laughs> and their beers were excellent. There you go. I had a nice porter and I had a Belgian blonde. Well done. Uh, How do you feel about you taking home a Belgian blonde? <laughs> I was waiting for somebody. Oh my gosh! Um, as long as you're throwing out secrets, you guys want to know another place to get some amazing ad copy? Is uh, just go to like Ad Spy, like search up Ad Spy and stuff like that. You can find all sorts of ad copies for all sorts of ads that people are running and see uh, how long they've been running it and and so on. So. Yeah, that's a free way to do that, or not a free way. Uh, it's a, uh, I'm so uh, happy. I'm so happy you've grown into your haircut. <laughs> we were having this discussion earlier. <laughs> it's, it's. I think I already said it on the last Whiskey Thursday a couple weeks ago, but it's like the avocado haircut. Like it's like <laughs> Matt, Matt. That was that was an hour and a half ago. No, no, but it takes like two weeks to get to the right spot, and then it's like tomorrow or the next day it'll be like it's too long. Sorry, so I call it the avocado haircut. But it is what it is. Shane, do you remember when we were in Savannah and Matt had this idea of selling combs for men? We were- <laughs> yes. And we're both like, that's the dumbest fucking idea I've ever Cones? Had. Combs, man. Oh, there's, combs. there's no combs made for men. You got to go to the women's aisle. It's terrible. Anyways. <laughs> let me know down below if you think that's a good idea. It's a terrible yeah, idea. I know. He's like, extra, I want to tell me coat. they don't make any shoes for men. You got to go to the women's aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, Pat, he's like, he's like, I want to, I want to sell a fifteen dollar comb for men. We're like, what are we looking at? What? The ads library. Oh, Facebook. the ads library on AdSpy. No, on Facebook. Oh, okay. I like it. It's tons. Like, oh, it just, there's wait, a sold one. Like, Where? Just up and to the left, there was a sold one. Hang on, hang on. Oh, here's another one. Listing campaign here. Where, where? Right there. Oh, right there, yeah. There you go. Yeah, so it's like, it's never ending. I love it. That is awesome. But you, you can only do, you can only do um, a certain amount of searches at a time. Okay. So don't fuck it up. All right. Good to know. Yeah. So yeah, there's another place you can get eye copy and if you want to spend the time doing that. How do people get to the ads library, Shane? Oh, um, Facebook.com slash ads ads library. library. It's true. Yeah. It is or true. like, there's this really cool thing called the fucking Google. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, there's another really cool thing called, um, the fucking Zach. Amanda just messaging. like completely ripped on me. She's like, Matt, there are multi-purpose beard grooming combs, you know. You just don't have facial hair, so it's a well kept secret from you. <laughs> he doesn't have facial ha- hair. He can't have facial hair. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a very big difference. Uh <laughs> oh yeah, let's move through these questions here so that I can uh... Lena says, Matt, you did a video on how to find realtors who are crushing it. One of the best videos ever. Um <clears throat> I forget which one that was. Feel free to tag it in here. But let's it's see. Probably, it's, those are probably not in the group. Are they in the but, student group? Well, I don't know. Old? Like, the, you, <clears throat> they're, maybe they're part of your class, your beta class. Oh, that's true. Might be in there. Yeah, I think it's uh, time for you to go through your beta class and start, like, unlocking some of that content for students part of the new beta class. All right, Amanda. We're, something you were, we're supposed to. tomorrow about getting some of this stuff in there. You I, got, supposed to do. I got a question for Pat. Uh oh. Okay. Pat, what do you know about Benedictine? 
To college? No, I'm about to change your life, okay? Okay. Go go to go to a decent liquor store. I'm trying to think in Olathe. You might have to go to OP. But go get yourself some Benedictine. Mix that with some bourbon. Dash of simple syrup and some lime juice. Now you just posted this drink a couple days ago. Wait, oh, it's a liqueur? Yeah. What is it? What kind of liqueur? It's a, it's a little it's a little pricey. But you'll fucking love it. So Benedictine and then what? Bourbon. And bourbon. And a little bit of and it works well with just uh, it works well with simple syrup. It works well with uh, simple syrup and lime juice. Uh, you can add some mint in there. If you still have some of that rosemary simple syrup that I told you about, that yep. work well too. The rosemary simple syrup is awesome, especially if you make it with like sugar in the raw. Well, this is like this is like a forty-five minute conversation we had the other day about mixing drinks. It was actually pretty fun. Okay. Shane, this Shane, is what you guys yeah. do all day long. We should, yeah, pretty Shane, much. Shane, <laughs> Shane, do you know how to make simple syrup? No. Oh yeah, sugar and water. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Matt had no yeah, idea. one to one. Matt did I, not know this. I'd never heard of oh, like yeah. making simple syrup. You literally like a cup of water, cup of sugar, heat it up, boom. That's it. Yeah. Matt was like mojitos, right? That's how you make mo- mojitos, like with simple syrup. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Pat, the, ben- the bourbon and Benedictine, you don't even need the simple syrup because the Benedictine has a nice little sweet taste to it. Go get yourself some of that. If you I will, uh, I'll, I'll see about that this weekend. If you're not gonna do it, I'll go send you a bottle. And I'll, I'll buy you some. Hmm. It's well, I'm not going to do it. Go ahead and send me I'll a bottle. Liver over here? Like, what is that? <laughs> Did we not get a bottle either? You can't be buying Pat bottles of liquor. Why not? And not Shane and Matt here. Well, Matt doesn't can't appreciate your taste. And yeah, Shane, what? Shane, there's an import. Dude, go back to your eight ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and Shane, you're there's, a right? There's a Shane for you. There's an import tax. Matt, I'll send them a pint of. Not for long. Not for long. Send send Matt like a fifth of ten high. Yeah, <laughs> and like some carburetor. Fucking. That's what I said. Ten high. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's move on to through these questions and not get too distracted. Right. We got. Let's see. You know, we'll wrap. We got eight minutes. Let's do that. Eight minutes. Oh, Lightning why round. different ad accounts? Because if you want to get one shut down, you still got the other ones. There you go. Boom, Pat. Acting like he knows about ads. Like a boss, man. <laughs> the ad boss. <laughs> um, let's see here. <laughs> At least we got one sober guy on this show. <laughs> Not yet. Well. Uh, Olivia says the course was the best investment she's ever made. I love it. Awesome. Um, Alina says a thousand percent undervalued. I love the course. Beta is awesome. Um, Amanda says Al's name. Oh, my gosh. I'm dead. Uh, let's see. Ads is 150. Yes, it is. What's the link of the ad library? We covered that. Oh, I changed my name. Right there. Wait, no one loves mine? <laughs> no. We had somebody ask about your story. I didn't even <laughs> notice fucking Pat's name. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, Alina. Oh, she says, so the, the actual uh, video that I did was on my page, the Matt Kramer page. So uh, oh. yeah, if you want to share that, that'd be cool. Otherwise, I'll go back and see if I can find it tomorrow. Also, um, if you guys want a really classy watch that's not that expensive, um, I just discovered this brand of Baku. Uh, I really recommend it. Who wears watches? Where's your affiliate link? <laughs> uh, next time. Next time. Yeah, <laughs> next well, time. I, I actually, I actually do have one for this, but I'm not gonna. I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> there you go. Um, no, but I, I'm sure if you just message him, he'll probably send you four or five. Like you probably get a free watch from. From Zach, <laughs> if you just message him, as long as you're not more tax. I forgot that earlier. You're somebody, when you were talking about giving away stuff, or how Zach gives it all away, uh, somebody said, "Rip your inbox, Zach." So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I don't answer fucking assholes, so it's simple. Someone <laughs> said, "Michael," and they <laughs> can we get the story of how you got to where you are? They're referring to you, Zach. How did you get to where you are? No, no, no. Skip the question. <laughs> skip the question um, yeah like we've all had this if you want to hear that full story nope no nope. no nope. 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 skip the question <laughs> um let's see here you gotta come to vegas you want to hear that vegas yeah, we, all right 
Is that we're doing the real estate marketing conversion mastery uh, meetup? Who's ready for that? Is it about time? How many members do we need before we can do our REMCM meetup? I'm not how many, member, how many members before it's a cult? Good question. Mm, very good. <laughs> I'm not doing it in Vegas. I'm not doing it at the same time we're going to that bullshit fucking conference. Are you not allowed to be in Vegas? <laughs> yeah, I kicked out of Nevada. That's actually probably accurate. How many high schools, <laughs> how many high schools are in Vegas? I've had a, I've had a, oh, I, I, I actually had a real, oh my gosh. I haven't let's, shared this story with any of you guys. In the let's movie. move on. Let's move on. Next one. Everyone, everyone start off. Uh, nervous. I don't know. <laughs> How did so everyone? That question? How did every? Yeah, everybody but Zach can answer that question. What's that? Don't even repeat it. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Later. All right. Here, you know what? Hey, I'm really, really final question. No, wait. What was the one that I can't answer? How did everyone get started? It was, it was another. It was, uh, it was it's a, a long. It's a long. Yeah, it's definitely a long. That's like a round table kind of a meandering question. I, I think it's a pretty easy question for Matt. He was a real estate agent. Wait, can, can sell can a I house. You guys to sign a a can you guys see this? <laughs> yeah. What's it say? It's supposed to say "get your ass here," but it says "get your ads here." <laughs> like, like the perfect thing I can imagine. To I end. love it. I love it. All right. Final question we're going to end off with. What's one thing somebody could do today to acquire more clients? Uh, it's 10 o'clock at night. So probably just go to bed. Go to bed. Get a good night's rest. It's a good <laughs> recommendation. Good night's rest. Early morning. There you go. Love it. You heard okay. a lot from Michael. Yeah. Let's I, ran five, I ran five miles this morning before seven o'clock. So wake, go to bed, wake up, run seven miles, five miles. You what know. about Shannon Nader? Um, acquire, like do what you like to do and speak to as many people as you possibly can. Al? That's all you need to do. What if those directly conflict with each other? <laughs> then you are in the wrong business. <clears throat> That you, need, you really need to get out right away. If you if you cannot have conversations with, if you can't have a normal conversation with a person, you need to get out. That's why I'm here where I am, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Like, it's such a, the thing is, like Zach, you know, you, so when I first met you, like, yeah, you were a little, it's like, well, like this guy's kind of weird, you know? And then like, you get on the phone with this guy, Zach, it's like, like the yes. nicest guy ever, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then when he gets in front of a camera, it's like, I'm fuck, 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 fuck. I'm just, yeah. I, don't, I don't fucking, I don't want to talk about that anybody. Fuck this. Wait, no, wait, let's get, let's get, let's get Pat's opinion real quick. He's the one that's been with me the longest. Okay. Well, the thing what? is you, you are a little moody. I will give you that. <laughs> I you're call him Woody moody. Allen. <laughs> moody Allen. That's a good name. You're, you're a little you're moody. real neurotic about the ads. Like, Oh God. Oh Jesus. I don't know what about the ads. Oh, gee, oh God. I don't know. And so, yeah. So that may be funny if, for being Jewish. That's all I heard right then. Wow. See, you don't even know me. God. <laughs> My gosh. Anyway, <laughs> Al, Pat, whoever you are, what's one thing people could do to acquire clients? One thing people can do to acquire clients. I had no idea. He's never acquired it. I have no idea. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> I've never acquired one single. Perfect. Ever. ever. So we got good night rest. Shane says, what was it again, Shane? Do, do what you like doing and talk to as many people as possible. Yeah, I was going to say have 20 conversations a day with your potential clients. Oh, yeah, conversa oh. lots of conversations. Or it's just like go die. Or run ads. <laughs> run ads for your clients. There you go. You still, you still have to have conversations. Like, 20 conversations a day will make... If you run ads, they show up to your landing page and you have a conversation. There you go. Duh. <laughs> All right, guys, with that, it's 10 o'clock. We are out. It's been a crazy night. I can't guarantee you this is going to be up tomorrow. So make sure you grab that link to join the, the beta while it's open. Chain never opens this up. So um, make sure you do it quick before it covers up. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to everybody later. I'm Ben Dover. Mike. Jane. Mike. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shane, I feel like you 